How's it going everybody? Dato Doi here with a different kind of video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Dragon Ball Fighters, or Fighters, just Dragon Ball Games Super Showcase in general uh, by Bandai Namco. Obviously, you know, we're, we're here for the fighters. If you know my channel, you know this is my favorite game of all time. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited they've been hyping something up. I'm just a Dragon Ball fan in general too, by the way. Uh, so if they do something super crazy, like announce a new game or something, I'll be pretty excited for that as well. But the main thing we're focusing on right here is uh, the fighters. You know, they have the director of the game there. They're going to be doing an interview. And yeah, I don't know if we're going to see any characters, but hopefully at the very least we do get confirmation that there is a season two and that more announcements will come at World Tour Finals. Something this. brand new? Well, you can't just say take a look at this. Something brand new? For Xenoverse? Oh, heroes! Wait, is this the North American here? This is North American Dragon Ball Heroes release. I can read all the words. It must be North America. <laughs> okay, so it is kind of linked to the Xenoverse world in the sense that you know you're playing through a time patroller. Uh, but other than that, I don't think there's going to be any strong connections. Counter rush mode. Oh, okay. Oh, Kefla just rocked this dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that face, Piccolo. Oh wow, he's dead. He's just dead. Again, I'm I'm super interested in seeing what everybody's saying. Should I check? Ah oh, no, dude, no, no, come on. You are way too humble. The game has been doing crazy good. The other thing that's actually been well received is the fighters pass and all the different characters. What's your huh? reaction to all the cool characters that have been added to the game with the fighters? Thank you, dude. This dude is asking the questions everybody wants to know. Feedback from the users. Much of the feedback was positive while many others wanted more. That's me. That's both me. We hope to be able to continue working hard to be able to satisfy those users. Oh, just say it already. So I'm happy that you're happy about the fighters pass, right? Okay, come on. But come on. And you, well, you actually said you're looking at the other yes. stuff. Yes. The other stuff. Yes. Past season two, by any chance? Here we go. Here we go. E uh, yes. Okay, we'll take it. Yes. Done. Done. Easy. No, that's it. No, you said it enough. You said enough. Thank you. You said enough. Guys, I tried. <laughs> yeah. Mission but success, dude. Give up. Do you have an update on any updates or improvements that you're going to work you on did it. the game? You did fine, man. You saved us. Dragon Ball Fighters is current being balanced while looking at users' gameplay. Oh, okay, but save that for after the finals. We know the snapback's a little crazy. We'll have the finals at the end of January. Oh, yes. Season 2 on the way. So that would be where we're adjusting the battle system. Battles, battle system changes. Confirmed. But let's not get too crazy. Remember the first patch where they talked about battle system changes? Uh, it ended up being very minor. So don't get too excited. But I guess that's what they're being. That's what they're going to be looking at. We'll give more details after the finals. But that's what we're planning. Okay. Okay. Very respectable. Such as how comebacks were difficult for the game system itself. Hmm. I think comebacks are pretty okay. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know if I like. I don't know if I like that. We were talking about system balance adjustments earlier, but we consider changing some things so that it would still be, so that it would still make comebacks possible. Hmm. Are those changes they already did? Our goal for the second year is to make it an even more fun game to play and watch. Okay, so there, there's just hinting at a future. And we're going to have to stick around until after the World Tour finals, finals to get some concrete uh, stuff, apparently. We will continue development with that in mind. Okay, good. That's nice. That's nice to hear, at least. Uh, it makes the finals more exciting, that's for sure. We hope to do unique presentations that will excite Dragon Ball fans as well as newcomers. Hmm. Again. So that they will become interested in the finals. Again. Oh my god. I was hoping for something a little more concrete. There will not only be tournaments, but also new exclusive information that we will release at the final. Ah, you're killing me. You're killing me. And another thing, we said the new information on fighters would be coming during the finals, but we're also planning to release other big news. Okay, well, you know, you know, I, I'm more of the fighters kind of guy, but now you're also you're also teasing some some other Dragon Ball fans. Man, the the fighters finals has just become this being that exists to tease. <laughs> Of course, we'll continue to support tr Super Dragon Ball Heroes while also doing the same for Xenoverse 2 and Fighters. Nice, nice, nice. But this new information is something different? What? The Fighters Finals is just one big tease. 
The V jump published by Shueisha in Japan has some hints on the information coming during the tour final. Is that the new one though? That is! That's the new V jump. So there's gonna be hints? What do you mean by hints? Wait, why is there a Gogeta card? All right, that was the big, that was big it. Where did Dragon Ball Fighters chart? Ooh, it got up there. I don't know, maybe, ah, they're really biding their time. That's a risky strategy, you never know. Cause they had 36,000 right there. They could have done something uh, that pleased those guys, but they're, they're doubling down. They're making sure that you go see those World Tour Finals. They want to see the World Tour Finals above Fortnite right here. Uh, and I hope that works out for them. I was gonna watch it regardless, but now as a Dragon Ball fan and a Die Hard Fighters fan, it seems like the the World Tour Finals is something you're not going to want to miss. Um, the Hero stuff, I don't know if I put that in the video, but Dragon, sum it all up, Super Dragon Ball Heroes got announced that it's going to be localized, Xenoverse 2 is still Xenoverse 2, and Fighters, you're going to have to wait and see until the World Tour Finals. We've covered this before on the channel, but now we have the official statement that Season 2 is confirmed. She didn't say it that exactly, but she did say yes, I do want to say that. Of course, shout out to this man for asking the questions. He was out there trying to get us that Season 2 information, uh, and I appreciate that a lot. So guys, down in the comments, let me know what you're thinking about all this. Uh, if you're a Xenoverse fan, a Dragon Ball Heroes fan, or even if you're just a Fighters fan, are you looking forward to the World Tour Finals where there's going to be some big news? Uh, and just let me know your thoughts on all that down below. While you're down there, if you like these videos and want to see more of them, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, I got a ton more coming, and we're going to be covering everything that happens at the World Tour Finals and beyond for fighters, uh, as well as maybe some other Dragon Ball games. So, so make sure you stick around if any of that interests you. Anyway, I got some videos on, on. Anyway, I got some videos on your screen of me actually playing this game that you can check out if you haven't seen them. I'm Dr. Doya. I'll see you in the next video.